Hello, this is Dr. David Bilstrom. And we have a great question that has to do with the stress hormone cortisol. The question is, I know you got to do relaxation activities to teach cortisol what calm feels like, but I've also read something about adrenal adaptogens. Can you explain that to me? Fabulous question, of course, because cortisol being disrupted, being stuck in the stress mode is an absolute central mechanism in what drives chronic health issues, excessive inflammation, driving chronic health issues. And oftentimes uh, resetting cortisol really gets missed. Now, things like meditation, yoga, Tai Chi, repetitive prayer, progressive muscle relaxation, deep breathing exercises, all these different kinds of interventions create calm in the body and are vitally important to do regularly when you try to create calm in the body, try to get cortisol to get out of the stress mode and the relaxation mode, vitally important, um, including profound impact on optimizing epigenetics, turning off bad genes and turning on good genes in every cell in your body. Now, you also need to combine this with getting rid of the things that are causing physical stress, like infections, vitamin deficiencies, hormone imbalances, gut disruption, foods that are bugging you. And then it really puts cortisol in a position to get from the stress mode down to the relaxation mode. But if you're a mid teenager or older, typically you're gonna to need to use an adrenal adaptogen to help get cortisol down because you gotta get rid of the physical stressors. You gotta teach cortisol what calm feels like, but cortisol can get stuck for so long this adrenal adaptogen, things that rebalance cortisol are, are vitally important. So the one I love and is available on my website is called Adrenamet. So this is a combination of several different things, a couple of different herbs and a couple of vitamins that really help get cortisol to find calm so you can fix everything. Now, that being said though, is cortisol goes up and gets stuck and thus it's one thing after another after another. Well, in some people, once you get stuck there for so long, cortisol can actually crash out, okay? Now, typically what happens is when cortisol is stuck in the stress mode, fight or flight mode, life or death mode, one thing after another after another, but DHEA will do another important adrenal hormone in addition to cortisol. Adrenal glands sit on top of your kidneys, make DHEA and cortisol, DHA goes way high to keep you going, even though you're not feeling your best. And this is where people say things like, well, you know, I'm really not feeling my best. I know I could feel better. Well, DHA will go up to keep you going. Okay. DHA is really great at keeping away heart attacks, keeping away strokes, keeping your brain sharp, keeping away osteoporosis so you don't get a hip fracture. And DHA used to be a prescription medicine for joint pain before they invented ibuprofen and all the terrible stuff that came from that. Well, you can think about this as if you're stuck in the fight or flight mode, life or death mode, there's a bear chasing me, trying to kill me mode, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You run, your body feels like it's running from a bear 24 seven. Well, if you're running from your life from a bear, you need DHEA to go up because you don't need a heart attack and stroke. That's gonna make you fall over, the bear kills you. You don't need to get so brain foggy that you forget to run from the bear, the bear kills you. You don't need, when you're running from a bear, running for your life, osteoporosis and hip fracture, you fracture your hip, you fall down, the bear kills you. You also don't need enough joint pain that you can't run fast enough to keep away from the bear case you're trying to kill you. So it keeps you going even though you're not feeling your best. But DHA can't do that forever. It's working overtime. It can't keep working that hard forever. And eventually it crashes out and it goes too low. Now, when DHA crashes, that's when the person that has historically said, you know, I'm really not feeling my best. I know I can feel better you know, I guess I could feel worse. When that DHEA crashes, you do feel worse and you can feel profoundly worse, okay? So that's usually this transition from, I'm really not feeling great. I know I could feel better to, oh my gosh, what train hit me, right? You crash out your DHEA, but the person running from the bear, running from their life 24 seven, it's almost like when DHEA crashes, the rug gets pulled out from underneath the person running from the, the bear, and cortisol starts crashing down and you feel even worse. So when cortisol starts crashing down and it goes too low, remember, there's a sweet spot in the middle of everything. It'll be too high, too low, same thing with cortisol. When you go too low, that's worse than being too high. And when you crash out your cortisol, that starts to become a ticking time bomb for even worse thing. So that's a ticking time bomb for things like heart attacks, strokes, 
cancer, diabetes, these kind of things. So how do you know if your cortisol is high or low? Well, a saliva cortisol test would tell you, but you know, maybe you don't have access to a saliva cortisol test. Okay, maybe you, you have such dry mouth because of your health issues or side effect of medication, you can't even do a saliva test, okay? But you say, I gotta fix my cortisol because I can't fix my cortisol, I can't fix anything. Well, this is where the adrenal adaptogens come in play, okay? As adaptogens, they're balancing agents. So if your cortisol is high, they bring you down. But if you're low, they bring your cortisol up. Now, sometimes when people have crashed out their cortisol, some are low, but some are still high, right? So you need an adaptogen because the times of the day when cortisol is low, it brings them up. Times of the day cortisol is too high, brings them down. You get your beautiful 24-hour cortisol rhythm back again, highest in the morning, slowly go down as the day goes on, hit your low spot at bedtime, fall fast asleep easily, greatest sleep in the world, oh my gosh, sleep of the dead, most restorative sleep ever, and then you jump out of bed in the morning, ready to go because you feel great, that's the cortisol rhythm that should be there. When cortisol is off, it's kind of like, well, oftentimes what happens, people kind of talk about being wired and tired. All day long, I feel wired and tired, but then I can't go to sleep at night, right? Um, that's a classic cortisol picture. So the adrenal adaptogens are great to fix what ails you with the, the cortisol. Now, sometimes people talk about using adrenal extracts, basically extract of adrenal tissue, okay? You do not want to use that if you're running high because it just kicks you up even higher. It's basically more cortisol, basically. Um, that's not good. Now, if you crash out, you go, well, maybe I do need an adrenal extract to bring me up. Well, sometimes you do. But the more, last couple of years, what we have realized is when cortisol goes up and gets stuck, fight or flight mode, life or death mode, it suppresses the immune system and you start getting all these infections that drive chronic disease. Autoimmune disease, chronic disease, including a lot of these guys go to the brain and the brain really starts kind of being on fire. The brain is really not happy. You start getting all this brainy stuff, right? Whatever it is, the brain's basically on fire. Well, what the brain may do as a last ditch effort to save itself is force cortisol to go too low. Because when it goes too low, you don't have the immunosuppression. The suppressed immune system hasn't allowed all these, these infections that get in and can't do anything about it. When cortisol is forced down by the brain on fire, it's a last ditch attempt by your brain to allow your immune system to wake up and get active and try to get rid of these darn infections that are killing the body, killing the brain. So it's like, oh, if the cortisol has gone down for that reason, you don't want to jack it back up again with the adrenal extracts because that would be counterproductive to trying to get your immune system to try to help get rid of these infections, ultimately get you feeling better. Now the infections are gone, cortisol can reset all by itself with the help of an adrenal adaptogen and your meditation work, relaxation work. And then you finally do reset cortisol. So we don't tend to use the adrenal extracts nearly as much as we used to because we realize, oh, that's the body's compensatory mechanism. We just need to use the adrenal adaptogen like the adrenaline. Thank you so much.